Please subscribe to our channel for exclusive content on the world's most exciting cars builds, in-depth assembly guides, tips, and guides for beginners. Your subscription helps us bring you even more detailed and thrilling videos every week. Hello everyone, I am excited to present a new project, the Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4 by Hasegawa. As usual, I will show you what is in the box and then provide an overview of each sprue and detail. Most of the sprues are packed in a single bag, which is not ideal as it can cause damage or scratches during shipping. However, the body and clear parts are in separate bags, which helps to keep everything in acceptable condition. This kit is a curbside kit, which means it doesn't come with engine. There are some parts molded into a chassis, which is not a bad thing once in a while. It is kind of easy to build these kits and still a lot of fun. The body is made of high quality injection molded plastic, providing a durable and precise representation of the Mini Cooper S Countryman All Fours exterior. The plastic is typically smooth and free of defects, making it easy to paint and detail. The body accurately replicates the shape and proportions of the real Mini Cooper S Countryman All Four, including its compact SUV stance and distinctive design elements. The model includes detailed body panels with realistic panel lines and seams, accurately representing the doors, hood, trunk, and other body parts. The surface details, such as the contours of the fenders and the shape of the roof, are meticulously crafted to match the real vehicle. The front grille is finely detailed, often featuring the iconic Mini Cooper design with the chrome surround and grille pattern. The front and rear bumpers are molded with integrated design elements such as fog lights, air intakes, and bumper guards. The model includes realistic representations of the headlights, taillights, and turn signals. These may be molded in clear plastic for enhanced realism. The headlight and taillight housings are detailed to match the real vehicle, with spaces for inserting clear or colored lenses. The roof may feature optional design elements such as roof rails or a panoramic sunroof, depending on the specific model variant. The roof is designed to fit seamlessly with the rest of the body, maintaining the vehicle's aerodynamic profile. The window frames are molded with precise details, allowing for easy installation of the clear window parts. The model includes realistic window trims, which can be painted or detailed with decals to enhance the appearance. The clear part sprue is typically made of transparent plastic material, allowing for clear visibility and light transmission when installed on the model. These parts are meticulously molded to achieve a high level of clarity and transparency, ensuring accurate representation of windows, headlights, taillights, and other transparent components of the Mini Cooper model. The clear parts sprue includes various components essential for replicating the Mini Cooper's transparent features, such as windshield, a clear and transparent piece representing the front windshield of the vehicle, providing a clear view of the interior. Windows, transparent panels for the side windows and rear window, allowing visibility into the model's cabin. Headlights, clear lenses for the front headlights, enabling the placement of realistic light bulbs or reflectors behind them for added authenticity. Tail lights, Transparent lenses for the rear tail lights, allowing for accurate representation of brake lights, turn signals, and reverse lights. Main chassis frame. The primary component of the chassis is the main frame, which provides the structural integrity and support for the entire vehicle. This frame is molded with precision to accurately replicate the chassis design of the Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. Exhaust tips. The exhaust tips are molded with precision, capturing the design of the car's exhaust system. They add a touch of realism to the rear of the model. 
The interior sun shades molded separately in the Mini Cooper Countryman serves a crucial function in providing protection and comfort for occupants while also preserving the vehicle's interior. Steering Wheel The steering wheel is a finely detailed part, including the steering column and control stalks, providing a realistic appearance and fit within the dashboard assembly. The interior speed shifter knob in the Mini Cooper Countryman is an integral component of the vehicle's transmission system, facilitating smooth and precise gear shifts. Side mirrors. These small yet crucial parts are designed to fit accurately on the doors, featuring realistic shapes and mounting bases to match the real vehicle. The side fender trim on the Mini Cooper Countryman serves both aesthetic and functional purposes, adding a stylish accent to the vehicle's exterior while also providing protection against minor impacts and debris. Interior mold looks very good with nice details. The only negative is that the two rear seats and central console are molded in, so it will require some masking if I decide to use different colors. Seats. Both front and rear seats are included, molded with intricate details such as seat cushions, backrests, and headrests. The texture and contours are designed to resemble the real car's interior seating. Dashboard. The dashboard is a detailed piece featuring the central console, air vents, and instrument panel. The layout is accurate to the actual Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4, ensuring an authentic interior look. There are two options included for right and left side driving. Wheel design. The wheels feature a multi-spoke design, closely replicating the actual wheels of the Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. The intricate details on the rims, including bolt patterns and lug nuts, add to the realism. Door panels. These parts include the inner door panels for both the front and rear doors. They are detailed with features such as armrests, handle recesses, and speaker grills. Brake discs and calipers are present on Sprue E, adding detail to the model's braking system. These parts can be assembled to replicate the Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4's brake setup, enhancing the overall realism of the build. The gas pedal typically features a long, slender shape with a textured surface to mimic the anti-slip design found in real vehicles. The detailing includes grooves or patterns that enhance the realism and provide a tactile feel. The brake pedal is usually wider and shorter than the gas pedal, reflecting its design in real cars. It also features a textured surface with detailed patterns to simulate the rubber padding found on actual brake pedals. The central part of the steering column, the shaft, is a cylindrical piece that connects the steering wheel to the steering mechanism. It is often detailed with grooves or joint patterns to mimic the actual steering shaft. Also, that sprue includes American and European license plates. The muffler features inlet and outlet pipes, which connect to the exhaust system. These pipes are often molded with flanges and clamps to simulate the connections used in a real exhaust system. Suspension system, such as control arms, struts, springs, and axles. These components allow for realistic articulation and movement of the model's wheels, enhancing its authenticity. This is a part of front axis assembly. Cover for rear axis and interior rear view mirror. Windshield frame and cowling components for left and right hand drive. They include detailed features such as vents, wiper attachment points, and structural supports that replicate the actual windshield mounting and trim pieces. The frame is designed to fit snugly around the windshield, ensuring a precise and secure fit when assembling the model. Subframe molded as a highly detailed part and also wipers for right and left-handed driving nicely molded as well. This is the rear axle frame molded nicely. Front axle assembly. Radiator and headlights are molded together. The upper and bottom grills are amazingly molded, 
I can't remember if I saw grills like that in kits of this class. I will cover them with more details later in this video. These two parts are called trailing arms, left and right. The rear axle is nicely molded with a lot of details. There are two roof antennas for European and American models. The front axle is molded with highly detailed precision. This is another set of wheels, and they seem to be classic ones. I really like the other set of wheels that I am going to use, but if those are too small, I may print a larger version. The chrome sprue is made of high-quality plastic that has been coated with a shiny, reflective chrome finish. This finish is designed to replicate the appearance of metal parts on the actual vehicle, giving the model a realistic and polished look. Headlight, taillight bezels, door handles, and exhaust tips are also part of the chrome sprue. These parts frame the lights and add a touch of elegance to the model's exterior. The tires are made of high-quality rubber, providing a realistic texture and flexibility similar to actual car tires. The rubber material ensures durability and resistance to wear and tear, allowing the wheels to maintain their shape and detail over time. The tires feature a detailed tread pattern that replicates the design found on real Mini Cooper S Countryman all four tires. The tread pattern is molded to provide an authentic look, including the grooves and ridges for traction. Rubber inserts included as well to give an ability for wheels to spin. The decal sheet is printed on high quality, thin, and transparent film that ensures the decals conform closely to the contours of the model's surfaces. The decals are designed to be durable and resistant to fading, maintaining their vibrant appearance over time. Include several Mini Cooper S badges to place on various parts of the model, enhancing its authenticity. Small, detailed all four logos are provided to replicate the actual branding on the vehicle. Large, colorful Union Jack decals for a striking visual effect on the roof and sides of the Mini Cooper. Multiple license plate options, including British and other styles, labeled with MODS MAD and Aero 122 JCW, allowing for customization. Small, intricate decals for the dashboard instruments, adding realism to the interior. Decals for various control buttons and indicators on the dashboard and center console. Includes various Mini Cooper emblems, winged logos, and other branding elements. Tiny labels and stickers for additional realism, such as warning labels and service stickers. Fun and unique text graphics like Punk Rocks Rocks, Shoe Gaze, and other stylized text elements for added personality. Really nice metal transfers included with logos and mirrors. The instruction book is a classic Hasegawa manual. An introduction section provides a brief overview of the model and some background information about the Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. A parts list diagram shows all the sprues and components included in the kit, with each part numbered for easy identification. A list of recommended tools, such as sprue cutters, hobby knives, tweezers and brushes, and paints, including specific color codes, necessary for assembly and painting is provided. Tips on preparing the parts and the model before starting assembly are often included. The assembly instructions are laid out in a step-by-step -step format, with each step clearly illustrated with diagrams showing the parts and their corresponding numbers. Each assembly step includes detailed written instructions, often in multiple languages, including English and Japanese. Important notes and tips are highlighted to assist modelers in achieving the best results. The instructions are divided into sections covering different sub-assemblies, such as the chassis, interior, and exterior body panels. Each sub-assembly section guides the modeler through building specific parts of the model before they are combined into the final assembly. Detailed guidance on painting the model, including color references and painting sequences, is provided.
Instructions on where to place each decal are illustrated with diagrams showing the exact positioning on the model. Tips for applying decals smoothly and without air bubbles are included. The final assembly steps guide the modeler in putting together all the sub-assemblies into the complete model. Alignment tips and final adjustments are provided to ensure the model is accurately and securely assembled. Windows and tail lights painting masks are not included with that kit, but instead Factory provided a drawing in instruction manual, which is an actual size. I think I will scan it and use my CryCat printer to do an accurate cutting. As usually I am trying to add detail up, photo etch kit, upgrade by hobby design whenever is possible. The first part looks nice. It has some disc brakes, some seat belt buckles, even some grills around the body and some other details for the interior, so I will find some good use for that. The second part is for the grills, and most likely will be useless as kit itself comes with fantastically detailed grills. Still will think about it, but most likely will stick to included plastic grills. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. By subscribing, you'll never miss an episode.